The stock handlebars on the 2014 to 2021 KX85 are made of thin walled steel and have a diameter of just 7 8 inches. One of the first upgrades I recommend to this bike is to replace the stock handlebars with something stronger. Pro Taper and Renthal make two popular options. The Pro Taper SE bars shown here are 7 8 inches thick and are a direct bolt on replacement for the stock bars. Renthal offers something even stronger though. Renthal's 1 and 1 8 inch thick fat bar, in my opinion, is the best way to go for the KX85. Renthal refers to these bars as the RC Mini slash 85cc bars. You'll have to replace the stock bar clamps with a set of universal 1 and 1 8 inch diameter clamps like this set from Tusk. The rental bars cost around $120, and the clamps range in price from $20 to $50, depending on the brand. The Tusk clamps are $25 at the time of this production. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the RC Mini Rental Fat Bar on this KX85. Okay, let's get started. So first, I just used a knife here to remove some of the uh, zip ties that hold the wires and cables against the handlebars. Then I moved ahead to this broken front brake lever and removed that. Here I'm peeling back this rubber boot that's covering the throttle housing. Two screws need to be removed to remove the dust shield, and then a hook tool can be used to remove the throttle cable. Here I'm unbolting the front brake master cylinder. And now I'm going back to the throttle housing. There's two screws underneath here to remove the bottom of the housing. And then everything just slides off. Here I'm removing the two bolts that hold the clutch lever in place. And then a single screw holds the kill switch on. Next, I remove the front number plate. And then finally, the four bolts that hold the handlebars on the clamps. Now, these clamps need to be removed. They're not going to work with the larger fat bars. Remember, they're only for 7 8 inch thick bars. They'd work with the Pro Taper SEs, but uh, not with these rental fat bars. So we're going to replace those with these Tusk 1 and 1 8 inch thick diameter universal bar mounts. Now the bolts and nuts that hold them in place are a little bit bigger than the uh, original bar clamps, so it's a little bit tricky to find some tools that could fit on those nuts. I ended up having to use a breaker bar because my ratchets and sockets were too fat to fit in there. So here I'm just tightening things down, uh, not all the way. You'll notice that uh, I leave it kind of wiggly and I'll come back and I'll, I'll tighten everything down a little bit later. Now there's markings on the fat bar to help you adjust it to your liking. All right, now it's time to reassemble the throttle housing. bottom of the housing goes on and secures in place with the two screws. We'll go ahead and replace that dust shield on top and fit the rubber boot over everything. Next we'll get the front brake master cylinder back in place, two bolts, I'm just putting things in finger tight right now. I'll come back and tighten everything down once I get it in the position that I like it. Front brake lever is back on. Once the levers are positioned correctly, I'll go ahead and tighten those bolts down. Here's the clutch. I'm using some Honda grip cement to uh, put some new grips on. 
Obviously, when you're putting new handlebars on a bike, it makes sense to go ahead and put new grips on at the same time. This grip here gave me a little bit of trouble. I know it doesn't look like that in the video because I edited it out, but I had some air trapped in there and uh, had to really fight it into place. Here I'm reattaching the kill switch. Again, just a single screw holds that in place. Then the pad. front number plate. There you go, everybody. That is the rental fat bar. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time here on Go Hobby.